guys welcome to another weekly vlog i am actually trying on a couple um pieces that i got from zara for the birthday trip and i thought i'd share it on the vlog um, i'm still going to do the birthday haul and pack with me but you know needed to open up this week's vlog so this is like a one piece terry cloth um short set that i got from zara it was 29.99 it has hip cutouts here um and i'm actually planning on wearing this on a hike with those hiking sneakers that i showed y'all with maybe some i'm hoping to find like some blue socks this color with a little bit of green to tie in the um shoes but i'm going to wear this on the hike i'm going to wear like a big shirt wrapped around my waist just to like throw over if it gets chilly um because we're gonna go super early in the morning and then uh as i said tie it around my waist once it starts to warm up so yeah i have another one i need to try on This is the second one. It's a mock neck zip up um, one piece. It's sort of ribs, thick material. It's in a cream color. I have on the absolute wrong underwear. So please excuse the lines. But um, yeah, so I thought this would also be cute. It goes with the aesthetic, which is just like a sporty, simple, but like sexy vibe for the weekend. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be cute. We are actually going to do a Jeep tour around Sedona. So we're gonna drive from Phoenix to Sedona on that Saturday. And so I thought this would be cute, again, with a big shirt wrapped around my waist to just throw on if I get chilly. Um, some nice, thick, like, slouch socks and um, those same hiking shoes. And I just thought it would be, like, a cute, casual, like, rugged vibe, like, Arizona vibes. I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was cute. Um, this is also from Zara. It was also $29.99. So, yeah, I got it within the last week. So it should still be there if it's not, like, sold out. So this is, this is the vibe. So it's Wednesday morning and I just flipped open my camera. So of course the trash man magically appears like always. Anyway, I've been super busy this morning and I figured I'd vlog some of it because um, I don't know, I love watching people vlog when they're like creating content and stuff like that, which is what I'm doing this morning. Um, I've already worked out, showered, uh, washed a load of clothes, folded them, hung them up um i've had a work meeting so i've been doing a lot um i've gotten this rack ready to shoot a part two to my spring transition wardrobe so i'm going to do that today i'm also going to create a reel um out of that and then i have an order coming from shoots today and i'm going to try to create a reel so that's the part that i think that i'm going to try to vlog i can't really vlog this because i'm going to be using the camera to film myself and then using my phone to get the reel at the same time but the shoots shoes, I should be able to vlog myself uh, making a reel for those. My toes look horrible, so I'm thinking I can disguise them. I don't know, it'll be interesting to see, but I'm gonna take you all along on that today. And let's see what we can do. So part two is going to have just five additional um, outfit ideas um, and they are all dresses. So this is a dress, this is a skirt, a dress, a skirt. Um, so yeah, the last one was all like pants and stuff like that. So I figured I'd do one dedicated um, to dress ideas. I'm still going with mostly sneakers for shoes because of my toes girl but yeah so now i need to pick the shoes that i am going to wear with each of these i think i pretty much have an idea i think i'm actually going to do combat boots with this one um probably a high top chuck or either no maybe my stan smiths with that one um this is two different outfits so one is going to be a high top, high top chuck and then one will probably be the stan smiths again hmm two times in a row and then um this one i don't know i feel like i want to do a chuck again with it but maybe i'll do a different shoe i'm not quite sure about this one yet but yeah maybe my golden goose i don't know we'll see but yeah so i'm gonna pick the shoes for each outfit i need to do my makeup and then i'll set up to start filming the video okay so i've decided on the shoes for the video and i thought i'd share with you so i chose combat boots for look one um for the uh green dress with the camo jacket look two with the satin skirt i decided to actually go with my vans instead of my stan smiths uh, look three, uh, the first version of it I'm going to wear with my uh, comms chucks. 
And then the second version, um, I'm going to wear with the Stan Smiths. And then um, look five, I decided to add a little color and I'm going to wear these New Balance here. So these are the shoes. Now I need to do my makeup so I can get to recording. Okay, so I finished my makeup. Nothing like too extravagant. I just put on some concealer and powder and filled in my brows and put on mascara. I don't typically wear a full face of makeup when I record videos. It depends, it depends on what video it is. Like yesterday I did a book review and I put on a full face because it was like up close and personal. But today, not so much. I am going to take my braids down next week. I need to dye my hair um, and rebraid my hair before my trip. So dye job coming soon. I know it looks terrible. I'm sorry if that bothers you. Actually, I don't care if it bothers you. But anyway, so I have my makeup done. I actually have the first outfit on. Um, I always start filming in whatever the first look is going to be. So I have on um, just a white t-shirt and the animal print dress. And I'm gonna flip you around really quickly. So right now what I'm doing is setting up the tripod, trying to get it at the perfect height um to catch the perfect light and all that it's sort of dark from over here because the sun comes from this way if that makes sense but yeah so we're doing that and i'm gonna put you down so i can find the perfect angle okay so now that the camera is set up i'm going to set up another tripod pod pod tripod for my phone because i'm going to film the cutaways um separately um uh, just because i don't have a big enough space like my apartment is too small to get my entire body well it's not but like aesthetically it just doesn't look right to me it's always too much stuff in the shot when i'm trying to get my whole body so i do cutaways to show full outfits so i'm setting up um for the cutaways and i'm also going to use those cutaways to create a real um, for Instagram so let me get that together now okay so I always use this little corner to record like my cutaways and things um just because it's the best with the light well sometimes it's either this way or that way there but I'm going to use this corner maybe I don't know the light is kind of annoying me let's see something really quickly okay so I swapped it to this corner which this lamp always gets on my nerves so we're not going to do that we're just going to deal with <laughs> See, this is how this is, I get so indecisive. This where it highlights here, it annoys me, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Now, I have the camera, uh, I have my phone turned sideways, it's going to be upright because I like my, my cutaways upright. I also need it to be upright for the reel that I'm going to create, but I did it sideways for vlog purposes. Uh, but yeah, so this is a little corner that I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna angle it where you don't see the opening to my kitchen and it leaves just a little bit of the arm of the couch so I can use it as a prop to lean um, and all of that. Again, it'll be upright so you'll be able to see my shoes. So yeah, now that we got it set up, let's go ahead and film some videos. Okay, so I finished filming the video. Um, all the shoes are put away. I'm the type of person that I clean up as I go. Those are packages that have to go down um, to the trash. Those are my hiking shoes. I just don't have anywhere to put them right now. I cannot do that with one hand. Hold, please. Ow. So for right now, I just have it propped up on the wall here. Don't worry, the bag is fine. I actually have this um, ready to get her closed because it's hot. That's why it does a lot of rattling because it's it's closed. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just put that here um, until I'm ready to use it again. This is why I need to move because I need more space. I've never needed more space before. Now I do. And I just got a message that my shoots package is here. I actually probably need to edit down some of the videos that I did for the cutaways and for the reel for the spring outfits because I think I'm running out of space on my phone. So I'm gonna do that first. So I can free up some space and then do the shoots, um, do the shoots unboxing and reel. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run down and get that, get to editing, and then I'll be back to sort of prop you up and show you how I try to shoot these reels. Okay guys, so I know that I said that I was gonna vlog filming the reel, but my phone is running out of space and it was just too much of a hassle and I couldn't. But I did get the reel filmed um, for the shoot. My arm looks good. Y'all, yes. um, 
easily distracted anyway i did film the reel i'll put a clip of it here um since the music obviously because we don't want no copyright issues um but i do have on a pair i'm gonna give you a little sneak peek because i am going to uh include them in my pack with me birthday haul video so i don't want to show all of them i just Try not to do so much double content. But anyway, these are a pair of one of the three pairs that I got. The other two are the same pair, um, just in two different colors. And y'all, mm, that's all I got to say. Mm, mm, mm. What a shoe. What a shoe. Hey guys, so happy Saturday. Um, I just got done taking a shower. I've already been to the gym. It's like right before 12 so it's like 11 45 been to the gym ran a couple errands i need to go to the post office i stopped in walgreens since i need to pick up towels and a couple other things came right home and hopped um in the shower and i figured i do the rest of my morning skincare routine on the vlog because i have a new brow product that i actually want to try so um i washed my face with the milky jelly cleanser by glossier um i don't know if you can see that but that's what this is this is actually a new bottle i got in the mail i just need to put it up but that's what i washed with um and so now i am going to go in and do the rest of my morning steps i'm so tired um i started my period i'm always like super drained when i start my period i don't have any more of my pads so i'm gonna have to use these cotton balls um so the next thing that i would typically go in and use is um a toner so i'm going to use the pixie gold tonic i have fallen in love with this um i was using a different toner that I picked up at Walgreens and it was breaking my face out like it was giving me little hive bumps so I got rid of that and I'm just using the glow tonic and y'all she's it I love it I love it I don't know it's just something about this toner my skin feels so tight and it looks so smooth after I use it so I think she's the one I don't think I need to look um any further than her for now anyway so go in with a toner um, all over my face and my neck and then after the toner I would typically do um, a vitamin C serum but the one I ordered for my morning routine still hasn't come yet I ordered the hyper skin um, vitamin C serum black owned company um, they haven't sent it yet though and I have my um, normal true skin vitamin c serum that i use but i'm running low and i like to use that one at night so i'm not using any vitamin c serum in the morning until that comes so the next step that i'm going to do is a little bit of eye cream i use this rock retinol correction cream same stuff that y'all have been seeing in either my vlogs or my skincare videos if you haven't checked out my morning and night routine um i have them on the channel i'll try to put the morning routine in the cards um it's changed a little bit so i need to do an update just an update on products though not the routine itself hasn't changed um so i probably do a video really soon because i've gotten a lot of new stuff a couple things that absolutely did not work for me got some new stuff for my body so um i think i'm gonna go ahead and do like an updated skincare product type haul soon okay eye cream um and then next i'm going to go in with my moisturizer again this is like holy grail for me there will be a no other this is the embryo lease let cream concentrate <laughs> girl i don't know i'll link it below uh, but i use this as my daytime moisturizer i love it it also works great as a primer um i haven't been using my uh normal primer when i do my makeup uh, i'm not putting on any makeup but like if i were this would be perfect for that. Uh, I like to just pat it in. To my skin. And it moisturizes. But also it gives me sort of like a matte feel. So it looks moisturized. But it doesn't like feel super greasy. Which is what I really like about this. And also I can put it all over my face. Like even in my brows. And it doesn't like compromise. I find that some moisturizers make it really hard to like fill in my brows they're like super, too greasy but that doesn't do that so I really like that and then I'm gonna go in with some sunscreen and that's gonna be it um, for this morning because I'm not gonna do anything but sit on my couch and watch um, the new coming to America on Amazon Prime and read a couple chapters of Mariah Carey's book because that's my March read 
put some sunscreen. Oh, the sunscreen I use is the La Roche Posay Anthelios Light Fluid Sunscreen in Ultra Light. It's 60 SPF, uh, broad spectrum SPF um, for your face. So that's what I use. I use it every single day. I don't care if I'm going outside or not. I don't care if it's cloudy or not. We're using sunscreen. We're protecting the skin on our face and neck. So there's that. So that's pretty much it for the morning routine. Okay, y'all. So what I really wanted to share is a little brow story. So let me scoot a little closer. So if you don't know, I do suffer from a form of skin lupus and um, it causes me to get like, I call them lesions, but they're like circular, um, open, I guess you could say like rashes. Um, so this is like a mark from them. I have them all over my arms, my legs and things like that. And another place that it affects is my, I'll get some breakout in my brows, around the perimeter of my head, in the crown of my head. And so I typically lose hair in my brows, around my edges my lashes um, the middle of my head and things like that so um, right now my brows are doing I would say well I consider them well um, they're sparse but they're a lot less sparse than um, they can get and I wouldn't say that this is like growing my brows back but they have been doing a lot better since I start using it and it's this castor lash um, and brow fuller thicker brows and lashes I picked it up at like Marshalls one day um, and I've been using it for like the last couple of months and as I said before where I grow hair is noticeably thicker where I don't grow hair I haven't really grown hair <laughs> there but there are little pieces there that wasn't there before so I'm gonna say it is a combination of that castor oil brow stuff which I did find on Amazon so I'll link it below and just me having um, a good skin moment because my edges are doing well um, the crown of my head is also doing well so I'm just having a good brow moment and people are noticing someone commented on how good my brows look on Instagram the other day and typically I just fill them in um, on a daily basis even if i don't put on any other makeup i typically feel my brows in because i'm gonna show my face on instagram sometimes i don't i come on here a lot without them filled in but i try to anyway um usually i will use this brow pencil i love this this is the maybelline new york brow ultra slim pencil i use this in the deep brown or i use my anastasia beverly hills um pencil in the brown dark brown as well um i typically use this on a daily basis and i use the anastasia when i'm like dressing up and going out because it's high and this one is cheap so this is the one that i use every day plus it's just as good um but i wanted to try something different so when i was uh doing a re-up on my facial cleanser from glossier i picked up the boy brow i've always wanted to try boy brow because i've heard uh good things about it and i just want to try a different technique i know i like powder i just don't have the patience to use powder so that's why i use the uh the uh brow wiz instead of the powder from anastasia but i've never tried like a, a wanded um brow product so this is like a mascara wand and i've always wanted to try it so i got the boy brow in the brown color so i'm gonna actually try that i think i'm going to still fill in my brows a little bit with my pencil like on the ends here not a lot just a little bit to give the um boy brow something to hold on to because usually like when i see people using that they have brows <laughs> they have brows and i don't have any actually i'm gonna use oh i'm bright i'm gonna use this mirror over here because i can barely see in the camera I think I might try to go get them cleaned up a little bit before I go on my birthday trip. Like, I'm gonna be very specific. Like, do not take any hair off. Just any like sporadic pieces that you see down here. Take those off, but please do not arch my eyebrows, if that makes sense. I really do want to get to a point where I have full eyebrows. Like, my brows grow all the way down here and I would like for that to be full all the way down here um and just have like a full bushy brow look like that would be that would be my um gold brow and i like to bring it over just here so i have a beauty mark there and that's like my measuring so i don't go too far past that beauty mark 
also I really need to take my hair down I'm either gonna do it today or tomorrow night I have a brunch um one of my closest friends here her birthday is also in her March her birthday is March 19th I mean March 10th and I'm March 19th and we typically celebrate together but both of us have a birthday trip she's gone on a trip with her husband and I'm going to Arizona so we're not celebrating this year together um and we've celebrated like the last three or four years together so we're gonna do like a joint brunch tomorrow so that's the brow now and now I'm going to try the glossier so this is what it looks like as I said it looks like a mascara wand um, and I don't know if you can see the products but it's brown there and I don't want to go too heavy cuz I don't want to be out here looking crazy so I'm just gonna fill it in Look over here in this mirror to make sure it looks great. And again, remember that my brows are pretty sparse. It's not anything that I can do about it, really. But like, try to take care of the brows that I do have. Then I'm gonna use, where's my brow pencil? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm gonna use the spoolie just to brush through it just a little bit more because it's a little darker than I would want my brows to be this brow here is a little more sparse than my right brow I always like this brow more because I feel like there's more hair there Let me pick y'all up and get close okay so this is the final look i feel like i like it um i'll have to play with it a little, little bit this brow is not as filled on the end as i would want it to be but i think that's just user error but like the product i like because it gives it that like natural stroke that it usually takes me a real long, a really long time to achieve um with the pen so it's a little darker than i like too so i will have to figure out how to lighten it up but i think i'm gonna really like um the product i think it's going to add to that full brow look that i'm going for without having fewer brow uh, full brow so yeah this is the boy brow in the brown color and the um lash serum that i've been using is the caster lash and brow fuller thicker brow uh and lashes serum so this right here yeah cute i don't have anything else to do so i am going to go and binge watch tv that's what i'm going to do and i will talk to y'all later happy sunday guys i am just dressed i'm getting ready to head to brunch and i thought i'd come on and show you my otd don't have on anything special i just have on this uh green patent trench that you've seen me um wear a few times on the vlog um i have on that fee noel uh, muscle tee and then I just have on the brown pleated trousers again um, that I got from Zara recently and then I paired it with my Vegas with no well I have on socks they're just no show socks it's pretty warm outside so I didn't think I needed a full uh, crew sock on and then I'm carrying my Chloe um, mini Marcy and yes I took my braids down on last night so I just have my hair slicked back in a bun and this is the look so real chill super chill very suburban mom today but you know whatever just going to brunch with my girls I didn't take these shades off like I like walked in the door wash my hands and immediately start taking my clothes off 
but it's about 5.30. I'm home from brunch, and I just wanted to come on and close out the vlog. My apartment is actually a mess on the other side of this couch, so I am going to straighten up, read a couple more chapters of Mariah's book. It's actually really good. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, and then I'm just gonna lay around and chill for the rest of the day. Actually, let me take, take these shades off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day and that's it. So again, I just wanted to come in and close out the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope that you um, enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, all of the things. Also make sure that you're following me over on Instagram. I did like a little outfit picture from today. So I just posted a picture there. Um, so make sure that you're following me on Instagram so you can see the outfit of the days that I post in um, these vlogs on my Instagram page. And I will talk to you all in next week's vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.